just because you allow yourself four days to write a song and nothing comes in those four days, it doesn't mean that you aren't doing anything. You know, it's a really ambiguous exertion with varying amounts of reward and result that may or may never be tangible. I write songs about myself and my life and my hope is that people connect with it and want my music as a part of their lives. In general, when I'm writing songs, I um, they say it, it's cliche, it's true though, it really helps if you're sad or uh, someone's just hurt your feelings or you just ended the relationship or you just made a terrible decision. There's so much meat there, you know, and it's this like juicy, excruciating meat that everyone knows where you just, you've done it to yourself and I'm really interested in how people make trouble for themselves. And it always starts with, with lyrics. And I think the second most important is a melody that, you know, there are songs you hear and you hear the chorus and something inside of you just sort of, it bends and it melts with it. And to, to try to, to grasp that and channel it is a marvel and a feat and I think you know people are always trying I'm always trying for that I come up with a guitar line that I that I like and respect and then I play it over and over again I open up and I try different melodies and different lines you know I, I just sort of bump them against each other or lay them on top of one another and see if if they make good bedfellows. You don't know where it comes from, and you don't know when it'll go. Or when it, you know, you can help usher it in, and you can clear your mind enough so that things come to you. But, you know, when when it comes, you don't, you're a little bit, I, oh, I feel like I'm outside of myself. I can't explain how it's happening and how it works, but I know when it's done. When I'm on stage, there's this freedom to be as, as vulnerable and as pained and as excited and exuberant as I can. If I don't do it, then there is a void, you know. There's stretches of time where I'm, I'm not performing and everything's fine, you know, but it, it's sort of, it's just fine. Nothing rises and falls and you don't feel particularly alive. Yeah, there's a lot of reference to water in my songs. And I don't necessarily compose in front of the water, but I have to go there and, and stare at the ocean and go blank and open. I think that I require that sort of, that level of er erasing, erasure, like the band. You know, when you're young, you need music as much as you need food or anything else. and. I was sad a lot and I loved being sad with music and I loved believing that they knew my trouble. And I can only hope that that's the feeling people get is that there's a sort of, there's an empathy there and a sense that things are hard, but it's hard for everybody and, you know, we can sort of ride it out together. It's funny, I know, I know that when I talk about my music, it, you'd think that it would be really melancholic and sad sounding, but it's pop music. So, you know, I don't particularly want people to feel sad. I just want them to know that everyone is sad and, and then we can dance too. And I aspire to that. <laughs>